Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to record voice using GarageBand. So, when you want to record your own voice in GarageBand, start off using the voice template. You'll get two tracks by default one set for a male voice, one for a female voice. So, select the one you're not going to use, use Command and Delete to remove it. Next, you want to choose your microphone. Go to GarageBand Preferences and look under Audio MIDI for the Audio Input setting. System setting means it's going to use the setting in System Preferences, Sound, Input. In this case, this Blue Snowball microphone here. Now, you could also have GarageBand use something that's not the system setting by selecting the Audio Input here and choosing another microphone, perhaps the built in mic on your Mac. Now a mic built into your MacBook or iMac is fine just for having a little fun doing something personal but if you're going to do anything professional you're going to want to get an external mic. You can use a USB microphone like this. Uh, you can get a regular microphone and use an audio interface to connect it to USB to your Mac. Basically even a very cheap microphone is better than the one built into your Mac because that's a very tiny microphone and it's susceptible to sounds like your hard drive spinning and taps on your keyboard. So get a cheap microphone at least. Spend a little bit more if you're going to be doing it professionally. Now once you've selected the input source you can also go over here on the right and further modify the input source if there's multiple channels. For instance this microphone has a left and right channel or I can get both in stereo here. Now you can turn the monitor on or off. Uh, what this will do is play the audio through the speakers. This is very useful if you're using a USB headset and you want to hear your own voice through the headset. Otherwise if you're using speakers you probably don't want to hear your voice echoed back to you. You can also set the recording level. Notice here you could see uh, my audio coming in and if I wanted to increase the level I could actually build it up right here uh, and I could also decrease it if it's a little bit too loud. Otherwise you probably want to leave it somewhere right around here. So to start recording what I do is hit the red record button here. This is a test of audio recording in GarageBand. Then you can say I hit the stop button here to stop recording. Now if I don't like the take I can get rid of it very quickly by either selecting and hitting delete or just command Z for undo. Notice that the arrow is still at that time when I finished recording so I can hit just Z by itself no command key to bring it all the way back to the beginning. So a quick command Z and then Z uh, will allow me to do my recording again. Now otherwise I can hit record and pick up right from where I left off. So I can do recording in segments uh, when I want to think about what I'm going to say. I just stop it and then I think about it and hit record again and record some more. Then stop. I could also reposition the playhead if I want to record over something I've done. So I can put it here, hit the space bar or play and listen. Sample recording in GarageBand. Again and record some more. I could stop here and right in the middle of this track if I hit record I'll start recording right over what I've already have there. So just another piece of the recording right here. And now you can see it replaced the end of this segment with this new segment. Now I can change the effect that I want uh, and do that for the entire track with the track selected. I could look over here to the right uh, to the real instrument modifiers and you can see I've got vocal selected, male basic. I can change it to no effects. Uh, I could go to podcasting and change to a uh, male radio, male noisy. There's a lot of different settings here and you can just try them all out and see which one you like best. Now you can also easily add some music to this. So for instance I'm going to grab all of the segments here by clicking on the track, move it over a bit and then I'm going to go to the loop browser, uh, click here to go to jingles and grab something sh very short here uh, or something that's five seconds long and simply drag that over here and put it in place and then maybe adjust the volume down a little bit move these tracks over so they kind of overlap a little and now I get some music when I play. This is a test. I'm doing a sample recording in GarageBand. And you can add a similar thing to the end. You could also add uh, say some underlying music. So let's take a longer track, add it here underneath and have it start up just when the intro music is over and bring the volume way down on that so it's very just quiet behind it. 
again and record some more. When you're done you can export using the share menu. You can send it right to iTunes or more likely you want to export song to disk. You do that you can select your options. Turn off compression and it will export it in full uncompressed quality as an AIF file. Turn on compression and you can choose here say whether you want to do MP3 or AAC. Choose the quality or choose a custom quality setting to choose the exact MP3 settings there and export it as a file. So there's the general idea of how to do a basic voice recording in GarageBand. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.